Line items are a fantastic way of breaking down everything you offer and creating a really clear menu of the services that you provide. So in this section, we're gonna take a look at how you can configure your line items in GoProposal. To see all of our line items, we want to come through to configure and the line item section here. Within here, you're gonna have a full list of all the services that you'll see at the front end. So for a bit of context, if we take a look at bookkeeping services, the introduction here, and the list of services we've got beneath it. We can see in our front end, we've got the title, the introduction, and the full list of services beneath it. So this is a direct reflection of the menu that we present to our clients. For each line item, we've got a number of key things here. We've got our status, which we can see a summary of here at the top. We've got the ability to publish and unpublish every line item, edit the content, duplicate the line item to start a new service that's similar to this one, or just delete the line item altogether. Now, when I come through into the line item itself, I've got a few key tabs. Firstly, we've got our description and our service schedule. The description is going to pull through to the proposal PDF. We can see in services selected that we've got our description pulling through here. So for service schedule content, we can add any responsibilities, terms and conditions, or any other content that we want to pull through into the letter of engagement. Further down, we've got our tool tip. So we can pull through text, imagery, or even a video URL to allow us to pull up content when we're with the client in the front end and aid with the sales process. We've then got our pricing tab. Within here, we've got all of our pricing options. So the four different base options that we'll have in here, as well as our calculations. So for example, our annual revenue price will base the cost on this selection here. A fixed price is just a set amount. The variation price would create a drop-down menu, very similar to this. And finally, we've got our number range price, which we would use to set up costings for things like payroll. Then we've got our calculations. So this is where we start bringing in the questions that we want to ask to get to the right price. Quality of records is a great example. Not only is it going to make sure that we're charging correctly, but it's also a chance to have a good conversation with the client around the quality of their records and see how we can help them. With calculations, we can add up to five of these into any given line item. So we can evolve our pricing in any way that we need to. Finally, if we've got the apps map set up, we'll have this tab in here where we can define and add the icons. And if we've got any integrations set up, we can define the information associated to that line item, such as the account code in zero. So within our line items, we can see we've got full control over the content we're going to add to our proposals, price that's going to pull through for our clients, and all the other elements that we would want to associate with our services. If you still need any help at all, don't hesitate to get in touch. Drop us a message on the chat and we'll be here to help.